Okay, let's move you our country, Myanmar. Did you know it's the 28th most populated? 40th largest in the world and second largest in ASEAN, but as a single land mass, uh, we're the biggest in ASEAN, and we have our own time zone. Nobody's got it to our own time zone, yeah? 41% of the world's population borders Myanmar, yeah? Do not worry, we, if you left your your email, we're gonna give you, you can download this presentation, yeah? This is public domain, you can download it over here. 41% of the world's population. Uh, I'm a, a researcher, so I, make, I can make statistics say anything. Yes, it's, we don't really have direct contact with 41% of the world's population, but if you look at all the people bordering us, it's another 500 million, so directly, we're, touch, we're touching 500 million people, yeah? But 41% of the world's population. Let's look at GDP, yeah? Uh, it's 17 trillion. 17 trillion dollars that we border. The birthplace of the human race is Asia because Myanmar fossil fine turns history on its head. Our earliest ancestors came from Asia, not Africa. I am telling you, mankind, human beings, came from Myanmar. It's true. Yeah? It is very, very true. Ooh, ooh, everybody talks about this project. The Duwer project. You've heard about it? This is called no money, no honey project. Yeah? <laughs> really, it's true. Yeah? Uh, really, the Italian guy, they go around and doing this for like five years and they say, where's the money? And the Italian Thai thinks the Thai government's going to give it to them. The Thai government thinks that the Japanese are going to give it to them. The Japanese are thinking we don't like this project at all. Yeah? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a project, uh, there's an economic zone, there's nothing to over here. And the thing about this is that uh, this is the thing that uh, connects to the where, was it some economic corridor that should get made? Not interested at all, not interested in at all. Don't worry about this. I'm gonna focus on something much better. I can go anywhere in the world looking confident as a Myanmar because of the next three, four, five slides. Totally, anywhere in the world, I can go with confidence and I believe in my country because of these slides. See, I said it, okay. Alright, uh, can't wait, can't wait, cannot wait, cannot wait. So we have the Thilawa project, definitely happening, the Thilawa project over here. This is presented by Mitsubishi, the top guy over here. So that's Thilawa right around at the bottom. And uh, actually, the Myanmar site owns 51% of the consortium to do this. That's what the consortium. And they're going to do the first, there's 2,600 hectares, and we're doing the first 400 hectares. Groundbreaking will be in December. All right, so, uh, and I always say Myanmar is ready to develop the business. Uh, if you want to want, sell or buy your products, there's, uh, well, what Myanmar businesses can offer, there's a thing called the Yangon Directory, Myanmar Yellow Pages, massive, very, very big. There's 66,000 and uh, 39,000 listings, so it's a lot of business over here. That's the website. It's a very good website because I own the website, so it's good <laughs> Okay, now let's not forget what Myanmar is all about. We're talking about our population, we're talking about the poor people, 60 to 70% now in the rural area, and we're looking at uh, agriculture. Now this is very, very interesting. What we're trying to do is we're trying to compare Myanmar to Thailand. Uh, even though Tha Myanmar is much bigger than Thailand, because we've got a lot of mo uh, mountains up, possible agriculture land is just slightly a little bit bigger if it gets developed. Now, you know, Thailand's about four or five times more productive in area. So if you look at this over here, what you have over here, you can see that. But the interesting one is uh, sugar. As you know, sugar is an amazing product. Yeah, you can do plastic, you can do everything over here, right? Thailand produces 10.2 million tons of sugar. Myanmar does 280,000 tons. Right, there you are. Lots of land over there, yeah? So you can just get a bridge and you'll be there in 15 minutes, yeah? Did you know now that if you're in FMI or this area, you need a visa to go to Yango? <laughs> because it takes one and a half hours. Yeah? You can be in Bangkok quicker than going from, from FMI downtown. Yeah? The traffic is really bad. Yeah? So why are we not going to do all this land? Who says we're not going to do? I know that there's five big companies that have got proposals. And what are we looking at? We're looking so you've got, you just need two bridges. Yeah? It's really simple. Sometimes I get really frustrated. I say, look, just do two bridges 
and they go, cannot. I said, why? Because you, the ships have to go out there. I say, don't let the ship go out there anymore. Just go to the ridge. And they look at me and say, oh, we never thought of that. <laughs> well, you can do it the other way. You can put your ship in and go by car. Yeah? It's not that many because they say the big ship can't go onto the bridge. No more big ship, like. Very simple. Look at 35,000 square kilometer, 70,000 square, 70 million square meters, or 800 million square feet. Flat, no? Just 15 minutes away. So if you want a property over there, maybe one square feet, $200. Over there, one square feet, maybe $10. <laughs> And more important, when you go, do you know 20 people who will buy your products? Yeah? Or your services? If you think you can do that, then start thinking about the business. Yeah? I could go on about the whole day about what you can do, registration, legality, borrowing money, whatever over here. Yeah? Even, and the cool thing is, for only 30% down payment, Gambosa will give you a loan to have a nice car. <laughs> so you can add to the traffic. Yeah, really, really. It's not only that, no? Only that, only that. There's, there's the MDO campus out there, yeah? yeah? What's your interest rate like? <laughs> uh, uh, right, let's just go over the difficulties. Uh, I'll just go through five quick ones over here. When you do, be here. Okay, I think the number one difficulty, I think you can be quite convinced that it's worth investing in not too much to about the money. Uh, the other one, which is quite important over here, office. You can do the office, apartment. The government now has got, they hold 6,000 condos, flats, that they haven't released yet. 6,000. Because during the last three years, they did this, uh, a, the contractor does uh, own 60% of the condo, government owns 40. That's going to be released soon. So property prices will go down a little bit. Yeah? So you can have your condo, which is your, your office space and everything over here. So don't worry about that too much. Electricity is good. Uh, you now maybe can get credit soon, maybe, not yet. I mean, I, can you imagine, when I do presentations abroad, I feel really good. I say, look, Myanmar businesses, 99% yeah, of Myanmar businesses have been doing business, but we don't even have a visa card. Yeah? That means we don't even get credit. Yeah? Now, the banks are working very hard, credit is available. Yeah? Uh, I think, yeah, even, even the foreign companies and aid agencies are giving credit so you may not even have to mortgage your mom's property or your dad's property when you come back over here. So that's out of here. Education. I've got kids. What about the education? There are over 12,000 children in private education. It's damn good for the price. Yeah? Ranges from 3000 to $20,000. My children went through in private education. I have four sons. They're now 16. They go to boarding school in one of the top schools in Chiang Mai, and when they joined, they went, I, I, went, I only sent them to an average private school in Myanmar, they were able to get the right marks. They are natural English speakers, all their teachers are English. So education is all about what you can afford. Yeah? Housing, it's going to get cheaper, don't worry, it's going to get cheaper. So think about it. Yeah? Five million properties, do the research, you can do it now. Very, 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 very impressive. Yeah? So you can ask me questions at the end on that one over there. Okay. Nearly finished. Right, following companies are here to help you reach your dreams. So I'm told they talk about reaching your dreams. Me and Gomizo were just discussing, my God, if uh, 18 years ago, 20 years ago, that we could do this, I probably would not be a businessman now. I probably would have wanted to work for Aurido, for Coca-Cola, for Zinima, yeah, for Gambosa. The, the path of Gambosa is amazing, the demand for people over here, yeah? and the service is very good as well, yeah? I complained once, and the Japanese guy was in my office in two hours. I got over a million dollars here, right? And I found out HSBC, right? Just to do a thousand dollar transaction, I get a headache. Yeah? Well, good. Awesome. You go, you, you love going to Gabriel, sir. You better advertise my directory. <laughs> so, over here, in the dreams are possible now. I am really proud to bring these 10, 12 companies, please spend uh, this afternoon and uh, tomorrow afternoon to give them your CV, ask them what they can do for you. You have a key to go back to Myanmar. So, uh, you define your own success. We've given you a key, we've given you an over here, and the price is right, don't worry. 
Yeah, you get what you work for. So please don't worry about that. But more importantly, I'm going to pass you over to Gomienzo. He is the perfect example of success. Yeah? He went back to Myanmar from here over 10 years ago. And uh, I'm really proud, even Myanmar with the top companies, the, the, the high executives are all Myanmar's now. So Gomienzo, let's see. Please convince our brothers and sisters over here that they can be good, good, good executives in, uh, in Myanmar and make a lot of money like you do. Okay.